things that people need to pay attention to while there's new technologies, there's new platforms, there's new ways to market, um, there's social media nowadays, uh, what should people use and what should they pay attention to? This is a really important question right now. The good news is that all the same rules still apply no matter how new a technology is. The same rules that I think you should evaluate whether it's worth your time and you should keep doing something all still apply. And those rules are are people responding? Is there a market there? And does your content fit that market? And are people responding? Those, those are the questions you need to know. So you don't have to go out and spend forever. You don't have to spend money. You don't need a consultant to be the end all be all perfect expert to get on a new platform, to try whatever might be working somewhere else, pay some attention to what's the context of that platform or technology such as you know the Twitters of the world, it's microblogging. It's a short message. What do people respond to in a short message? Well, they don't respond to you doing direct selling. They, they only respond when you catch their interest with something novel or unique. So knowing that, how could you cater something around your product or your message to talk about something that's related, that's novel or unique, so that people would say, oh, I wanna know more about that, or they would wanna follow you and pay attention to you. So what, what's not important about technology is that it's new. What is important about technology is that you take the time to build a little bit of fluency about each technology or each platform's special language. Um, and this is a really, really important thing. Each different advertising medium whether it's TV, whether it's video on the internet, whether it's a banner ad, whether it's uh, search engine marketing, whether it's writing uh, a tw Twitter post, whether it's blogging, each have their own subtleties of their own language. And if you don't take the time just to look at what other successful people are doing, to hear how they're talking, to hear how long they talk, to hear what type of message that they're bringing, you're gonna miss a huge piece of the puzzle. Um, so I, I want to encourage you to, to focus on those things no matter what your product is and test each one of them because if you don't, you might miss out on a big opportunity. However, you also need to make sure that when you test, don't just think, oh, I need a, a strategy on this because other people are doing it or because it's the new thing. What you need is to use the ones that work best for you that are that speak the language that your customers are going to respond to in the most. So if I'm selling life insurance, people aren't going to be responding to me likely if I have a uh, if I'm doing Twitter because there's not much I might be able to say about life insurance that's that compelling that people want to pay attention to. But if I'm selling laptops, there might be a, a really great community that wants to talk about geeky parts of laptops or how to upgrade my laptops, um, all of these things. And a Twitter community might be a great place to do that. And they might be interested in having a conversation that's only 140 characters long, like Twitter. So it matters the language, it matters the platform. Take the time to get to know the subtleties of each channel, test it out. If it's not for you, make sure you're testing other channels and move on. <laughs>